Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and here is a step by step guide on how to install MicroPython on ESP32. So let's dive in. First step here is open your Chrome browser and click on micropython.org. I have also provided the link below in the description. Right after this you will have to click on the download button and here you will have to scroll down to find your appropriate microcontroller which is ESP32 so just click on this and scroll down to the first link of this of firmware so once you download the latest version of firmware it will take few minutes to do it now we are done with our first step of downloading next move on to the second step here you will have to click on python tony download so our second step is to download the tony python ide this is similar to the Arduino IDE. Just click for the desired OS, Windows, Linux or Mac. So now here we have completed our step 2. Let's move on to the step 3. You will have to click on tools. So here we will have to go to manage tools. Okay. Here you will have to search for ESP tools. So once you search for that, you can see the first link we will have to install this. I have already installed there, so there is no install button. So here you will have to install it. So once you are done with that, our fourth step is click on configure interpreter. After that, you will have to select the interpreter and port. Now select the interpreter as MicroPython ESP32. So here you can see the ESP32, just select on that. Now comes the port part, we will just click on installer update. Here we will have to select the port. Before selecting the port, just remember to plug in the device of ESP32 with a USB cable. Okay, I am just trying to plug in my USB cable. Before that we will import the firmware of the browser from the browser. So select the file which we downloaded just now. So here we found our file which we downloaded just now and select to open that and now we will have to select our port before that we will have to reload and also tick on erase the flash before restarting okay so it will take some time now you can see i have already found the port and click on install okay once it is installing make sure you will have to put the boot button else you will start getting this error where it shows invalid programmer type so before clicking on install make sure you will have to press the long press the boot button now since i'm pressing the boot button you can see it's already started installing or writing on it so once it shows writing then you can leave your boot button and let it install the firmware so i think we are able to install this it will take just four steps to install it and most easiest way how we can install micropython i'll also pro provide you the code how you can run it also and now we have downloaded it and we will just click on ok so here you can see certain errors this is because the port has not been connected so let's connect our esp32 again and then just configure setting and you can see the port you can just do it ok and here you can see ok we'll just try to print a small program named hello to check if it's working or not so we got the output as hello it means successfully we have now type help to see what exactly pin number we can make it glow so here you have can see the code import machine and we are trying to lit up the pin number two so here we will import the machine and copy the code as it is from the shell and just try to paste it over here here i want to change the value to two since our pin number two we want to glow it i'll also provide a view where you can see it so i'll just try to save this and run the command also let's save it and try to run it so once i run the code you can see the blue light lit up here which is connected to pin 2 and uh, if we change the value to 1 it will lit up the light and if we change the value to 0 it will turn off the light and this is how it works so you can test this also and let me know in the comment section we have successfully installed the micropython in our esp32 setup as our python ide 
and also we have managed all the plugins now it's all time for us to dive in into the micro python and esp32 also make sure to always save the files in main.py since it doesn't run any other file so here i have put up a code where it displays the sound sensor data as a test for a code so here we are going to run a small code where we are going to see how the sound sensor data which is connected to esp32 displays the sensor data or not so before that we will have to select the right port and we will just do click on ok and then try to run our code okay so here uh, again i'll try to connect now we will need to run this by selecting the right port and here i'll click on ok and it will start displaying the sensor data on our shell if you found this guide helpful don't forget to give a thumbs up and also hit on the subscribe button also don't forget if you have any error or doubts please comment down below and also i have provided link for all the codes in the description and please follow it and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest notification and i'll be getting back to you soon with the next video thank you